Hello everyone, hope everybody's doing well and welcome to another episode of the Fragrance Specialist. Today I'll be reviewing a fragrance from the House of Davidoff and that is The Brilliant Game. Now this scent was released in 2014 and it's a flanker to the original The Game by Davidoff. In, 20 <coughs> sorry, in 2013 they had their first flanker which is The Game Intense and one year later they produced The Brilliant Game. 2014 so this is the last edition in the game series and the noise behind the scent is Jack Hooklier. Now Jack has done a lot of well-known scents the most uh, iconic one is Angel Man by Terry Mugler also he has done many of its flankers so he's a very well-known perfumer and I must say his work is outstanding in my opinion so let's move on to the presentation for this fragrance let's start with the box here's the box it says Davidoff the brilliant game along with uh, this pattern which is composed of silver and golden bars at the very bottom you have your size and concentration this pattern goes all around the box at the very bottom you have your batch code and your barcode at the top nothing going on at the top moving on to the bottle now the bottle is very similar in terms of the design We've got all these golden markers around the bottle at the very bottom it has the name of, <coughs> sorry it has the name of the fragrance the brilliant game by Davidoff also the, ca the cap has the name of the fragrance and the, the name of the company the cap is uh, solid it's plastic but it's solid the sprayer is quite decent and uh, the sprayer is a uh, golden color so presentation is pretty good but I think they should put more effort and uh, improve the quality a little bit because as you can see these markers are actually starting to peel off and this is uh, typical with David of fragrances they don't make high quality bottles they really concentrate on the juice inside rather than the presentation uh, something I've noticed about the game series is that most of the bottles are uh, represent poker chips and this is like a stack of poker chips and I must say that the design of the bottle is uh, does resemble the smell when you know, does resemble the smell of the fragrance if you make a comparison and uh, we'll get to this later in the small section of this video so let's move on to the notes for this fragrance so at the top notes we have Campari vermouth red berries bitter orange lemon and clary sage the mid notes are cedarwood and orange blossom and in the base we have tonka bean hay, coumarin, and caramel. Now, I must say that this fragrance is a very creative fragrance because as you can see uh, from the presentation earlier that this fragrance in, is inspired by a casino. In my opinion, this is like a fragrance that you would wear when you go into the ca casino or any sort of like uh, gambling uh, area or whatever. Uh, something that I've noticed with this scent is like this scent is made for people. <coughs> excuse me. It's made for people who go out a lot at night. And uh, I'll get to this later. But now let's just focus on the notes. Now the first thing you notice when you spray this fragrance is that. The initial blast is like a red berry smell and this red berry smell has a lot to it and uh, another thing I want to say that this fragrance is a complete fragrance what do I mean by complete fragrance is that this fragrance has a top mid and base and believe it or not in this case the notes uh, listed for this fragrance actually pretty much are all present in this uh, fragrance which is a which is a really like a big bonus in my opinion 
So at the start, you get the red berries, you get the Campari, you get the vermouth, you get the bitter orange, definitely, and you get a little bit of that lemon. Now, what is Campari and vermouth? So I made some research about Campari and vermouth, and uh, Campari is like a bitter orange alcoholic drink. And the same applies with vermouth. Vermouth is also an alcoholic drink. So both of these notes are uh, do resemble alcoholic drinks. And in my opinion, I don't drink alcohol. So when I smell this fragrance, I do get that comparison because I'm comparing the smell to the description of these drinks. And I definitely get these, uh, I get the, the smell uh, of the Campari and vermouth. But uh, what's dominant about the start of this fragrance is the red berries. Now the red berries are similar to the berries that you would the cranberry that you would find in Polo Red by Ralph Lauren. But this fragrance has a mature level to it. Like if you're uh, a teenager, you would go for Polo Red. If you're in the late twenties, early thirties, you would definitely go for this fragrance. Now. The top is really refreshing, but in a very mature way. And I think uh, the mature thing about this scent is the cedarwood. And uh, before going into the mid notes, I just want to say this fragrance is a very sharp citrus fragrance at the start. So uh, try to let this fragrance settle down on your skin before you try to sniff your hand or something, because the alcohol is pretty strong with this fragrance. So moving on to the mid notes, you get cedarwood and orange blossom. Now orange blossom, I would put it in the bitter orange uh, category. So it does belong to the bitter orange a little bit. Now the cedar is not in the mid, I would say, but it's more of the base notes in my opinion. So once you get uh, past all these uh, notes in the, in the start, you will notice that beautiful tonka bean note. And tonka bean is one of those dominant notes in this fragrance. So we've got this red berry, bitter orange smell. Then you move on to the tonka. And the tonka bean is very, very smooth in this scent. And I really like the tonka bean in this scent. And it's just like, a, as I mentioned before, it's a complete fragrance. You have the top, then the top tastes goodbye. Then you move on to the mint, then the mint tastes goodbye, and then your... Uh, the final stage of this fragrance is the base, and uh, I've uh, I don't notice that uh, sage uh, until this day. I really don't know how sage smells like, and uh, towards the end you get a little bit of that uh, coomer. You definitely get coomer uh, towards the end, and I don't really get the hay, but I I really know why they include hay in the scent because there's uh, like a touch of green element but it's not very noticeable it's uh, sometimes you get it sometimes you don't but in the base it uh, mainly becomes a cedar and tonka bean dominant uh, fragrance so uh, once you are done with the citrus you really do move on to the uh, tonka bean and cedar wood and I must say the cedar wood is really powerful in this scent when you hit the dry down stage it's a powerful, potent cedar, and it's very pleasant. And uh, going back to something that I said that this fragrance is inspired by the casino, I uh, picture if I had to describe this scent or recommend this scent to a, a person, I would definitely recommend to a person who is uh, in the late 20s, early 30s, who likes to go out at night and uh, drives a really expensive car like a, a black Rolls Royce or a black Maybach or you know these really high-end cars and he always wears a tuxedo every day at night time wears a black tux tuxedo and you know always have a has a female companion whether, the, whether it's his wife or his girlfriend or whatever so this is a perfect fragrance for this sort of uh, person who likes to party all the time, but in a formal way. I personally think this is a casual scent, but 
The only formal occasion I would recommend you wear this scent if you're that type of person who uh, wears a tuxedo every night, goes to the casino, and then you know drives at night in Las Vegas. This is pretty much uh, how I can describe this scent in terms of a person who has this sort of lifestyle. But not all, not all uh, people are like this. I own the scent and I don't do any of these things. So for me, I do wear the scent at night time and uh, casual use, pretty much. So I highly recommend you guys to check out the scent. I know the scent is not for everyone, but I highly recommend you to just sniff this fragrance and see if it, uh, if you like this fragrance or not. As I mentioned, this is a very creative scent and uh, I brought something with Jack Oakley. Every fragrance he does does give up give us like a message or give us an impression of something and definitely he wanted to uh, have a theme for this fragrance and the same applies to the original game and game intense the game is uh, smells a little bit different actually it smells a lot different than this one but also all three fragrances in this line the game the game intense and this one all have this casino you know, gambling effect on, on the, the fragrance. And I really like the theme a lot. And it really is a very different fragrance. Like the name itself, uh, no other fragrance has the same name, The Brilliant Game. Although I think it's a really long na name and it's hard to pronounce, I would recommend you to change like the fragrance name from uh, The Brilliant Game to The Golden Game or The Game Gold. It would be much better. But it's too late, we're in 2017, approaching 2018 now. There's no point in changing the name of the fragrance. But overall, this is a really nice scent. And uh, let's move on to the rating system. Longevity and projection. Longevity, I would say, 4 to 6 hours. So in the average range. Projection, this does project for the first hour to 2 hours. And uh, bear in mind that this is, would be perfect in summer nights. Because this fragrance likes the heat. So uh, the hotter the better. The composition, because uh, this is a citrus dominant scent, most citrus dominant scents like the heat. So I highly recommend you to wear it summer nights. In terms of uh, versatility, it really depends on the person, but I would give it uh, like uh, 6 out of 10. If you don't like to uh, party all the time, you might use this fragrance during the daytime. I don't know, it really does uh, suit you. And the, the presentation, I really like the presentation, but if they would just improve the quality of the printing on the model to be uh, great. And the overall score for this scent, I will give it an eight out of 10. It's definitely a very unique scent in my opinion, and it's definitely worth a try. Thank you again for watching. If you have any questions, please uh, write them below in the comment section. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.